While benchmarks are awesome, there's nothing better than real world gameplay. And in this video, we're going to show you a few different games in a few different resolutions with a few different settings to show you how they perform on the RX 7900 XT. We're first gonna go over Fortnite. Marvel's Spider-Man Remastered. Cyberpunk 2077. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2.0, The Callisto Protocol, Watchdog Legions, Red Dead Redemption 2, and Hitman 3. And aside from performance, we are going to have listed the temperatures and everything in case you're curious on what that looks like inside of the system. I will have specs and everything listed down below, as well as Amazon affiliate links to everything inside of the system in case you want to check it out. But without wasting much more time, let's get started. Starting off with Hitman 3, we can see we're the in the 50s. Not a place we want to be. So we'll come over to options. We are under AMD FSR 2, under quality. We do have ray tracing enabled. Resolution, ultra. Let's see, so maybe we need to drop the... Drop this down to balanced. Okay, there we go. Now we're in the 70s, and the graphics look beautiful. Everything is enabled. Hmm, that mechanic is in your way. Sneak up and subdue him quietly. Stop. You put on his clothes. That's a first. Might just work though. People do tend to see uniforms, not faces. Be cautious. Put though. this away real Some quick. people are more. The graphics really do look beautiful. So let's see what happens right. when we won't find him disable soon. FSR. Is it going to scream at us? Well, we're back in the. No, that's no good. So we need to enable FSR and keep it balanced unless you really don't care about ray tracing. So let's go ahead and disable that and that. And with all that disabled, now we'll go ahead and Okay, now we're at 120 frames per second. Beautiful. And now, because we're there, wow, now we're at 4K and 141 frames per second. That's beautiful. Wow. This particular uniform this should car. get you access through the staff entrance. That looks Just beautiful. Act normal. All the hard water stains on Hold there. Hold on. That you mechanic with his back turned? He's what we call an enforcer. He knows his crew and he'll see right through your disguise. So stay out of his line of sight. Right. Now for the tricky part. Start by locating your target. Intel suggests he's around the bar area. How about... Yacht looks like I wouldn't mind seeing that house of his in Switzerland. Graphics are beautiful. We're again at 4K. Come on, lady. <laughs> hey, 
but it's up. How you doing? And, uh, yeah, wrong way. Maybe I'll go the other way. But you can see just how beautiful it looks. We're, at, again, at 4K. And oddly enough, I, I don't know why this would happen, but going from 2K to 4K, we actually went up frames per second wise from about 120 something to 140 something. So that's beautiful. I'll take that any day. You're in. Hey, so well done, initiate. Oh, and I did forget. Hello. Hello there. And it doesn't really matter. I'm not showing you for gameplay sake. I'm showing you just so that you see how it plays, how it looks, it looks amazing. Okay, unlike mechanics, the cabin crew is allowed upstairs access. I see what you're getting at. Very unorthodox. I like it. One. It's private deck. Now we're getting somewhere. Ah, but okay, according to yeah. Intel, Ritter but is another anyway. enforcer who picks his own cabin crew. So tread carefully. Totally forgot where I needed to go on this one, but so I can show you, you know, how beautiful it looks like. The graphics are amazing in this game, and now we're hit 140 at 4K. And so here we can see we're at 4K and exclusive full screen we got rid of ray tracing and that was exactly what we needed so that we can shoot up the performance a ton and now let's move on to the next game in watchdog legions we can see we're in the 80s right now Give up, and let me just finish this fight. Oh. Right. That hurt you more than it hurt me. So, in the 80s and low 70s, let's see what we're playing under. We're playing under 2K, 120 hertz, V-Sync has been disabled, FPS limit off, coming under quality, we're under ultra, and we are under ray tracing ultra as well and we were getting in the 80s 70s for the low so now if we let's go ahead and turn this off real quick go under display and let's go bump this up to 4k still 120 hertz v-sync off yep and let's see what that does all right, so now we are at 4K in the hundreds, over 125, 136. Do us a favor and keep it quiet, Dalton. Game. If they don't shoot me, I won't shoot them. Beautiful. How's that? Look at that. Look at that quality. Okay, so now if we enable, let's see what happens if we enable ray tracing. Let's go ahead and just put medium for now. And yeah, it goes down to the 40s. Definitely unplayable, but uh, for right now, until we hit some patch of water, maybe we won't notice a difference. Maybe this metal, yeah, some of this water. And still at medium, probably we won't notice a difference. Obviously, if we go higher than medium, we will notice a difference, but we'll also notice a huge drop. Let's go to ultra. And let's see, so more of a shadow. We still don't see the reflection, but anyway, we're down to the 30s. We can't play like that. But if we come back over here, and let's go ahead and set that back to 2K. Let's apply that real quick. 
and then go ahead and set this back to well leave it at ultra you can see we're in the 60s now we have that same reflection that same beautiful water and that shadow everything looks great so if you want rtx or ray tracing enabled and you want to be able to play it i suggest 2k at this game if you want 4k you just can't expect to be using any sort of ray tracing and i'd say that's kind of expected in most games at least But yeah, I mean, it looks beautiful. The water, while it's not reflecting me, it's still beautifully reflecting the light and the other, the other parts of the, of the environment. It's pretty awesome. We've got loads of dead set gear down here. And why do you suppose that is? What? How did they get their hands on it? I don't know. But someone wants to make it look like dead set was here. Shit. You need to proceed with extreme caution, Dalton. Who are these men in black anyway? Nothing identifying. I suspect that's by design. All right, now with that, let's go ahead and jump off to the next game. So now, in... The Callisto Protocol. I just started playing this today for this video. And I'm playing at 4K, but I'll show you in a second. Alright, so you notice we have not dropped below 70 frames per second. We're in this raging fire that for many video cards, uh, even at any resolution really, it will bring down a system. Now coming into here, I'm gonna go ahead and exit for right now, and we'll come back in a second. Under options, graphics, and display, we're at 4K, as I mentioned. Lighting, high, 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 enabled, enabled. We have ray traced shadows off. That actually brings the game down pretty low. Effects enabled, we actually, let's go ahead, disable this. I forgot about that. When you set the ultra preset, like we did, well, previously, it enables that. I don't like to have that enabled. We have AMD FSR 2.0 enabled and under quality, high, high, high. So coming back in the game. Now we're back in ultra with... <laughs> With motion blur disabled. Right, and even though we are in the fire, you can see we never dropped below what was it? High 70s. Maybe if we even hit the 70s. There we go. We just hit the 70, 79. Ray tracing has a big effect on this game, but you know, we're under. Let's go ahead and show you this real quick. But we're under 4K again. Now, if we drop it. And let's go back into the game, just changing that. So right now we are again at 2K with RTX enabled. And now we're in the 60s. And being that we're in the 60s with RTX and this fire, that's pretty impressive. Although it has dropped to the 50s. So 
that's not acceptable here. Let's go back to exit menu. Let's go ahead and drop it to balanced. All right, let's see what we get here. So, we're in the 60s, now 70s, even with this rage, ah, uh, we hit the 50s. So, as it is right now, it looks like the best settings for 2K or 4K is to not have... Ray tracing enabled. This kills it. So, the best thing to do, let's go ahead and I still would prefer 4K. But you saw 2K work, and I'm going to go ahead and set it to Ultra. And let's make sure to disable Motion Blur. And then again, this is going to disable Ray Tracing, and we're okay with that. It's a nice to have. It's not necessary. And here we're back in the 90s. definitely does help and let's see we're turning around again looking around we haven't gone below the 70 I think 76 was the lowest we went so I'd say 4k ultra as long as we don't have RTX we're perfectly fine in the Callisto protocol so I think that's pretty awesome at 4k ultra using FSR 2.0 with everything set to high the game runs over 120 frames per second. That's pretty awesome. When we enable ray tracing, it gets a little low there. Even 2K or 4K, whichever of the two, it has a little bit of an issue, but that's perfectly fine. The game looks beautiful and it plays beautiful too. Let's go on to the next game. So, grab the gear. Cyberpunk 2077. Let me grab all the weapons and I'll show you my settings. Gotta find the way out of here. I'm fully prepared. Even though this is just a quick test for you guys. Got this set. Bot and controller. Then let's go. The quicker the better. Let's get out of here. I'm dying for some fresh air. I will it fail to feed. So we can see it. we've been in the it's a production 80s line. and 90s. So let's see what we're at. So first off, we're at Ultra and we're at 2K. I um, want to see what it does over here at Ray Tracing Ultra. Plus, I thought you loved me. 60s, we, we did really go down no other to way. the 40s. So not good at all unfortunately and let's see coming over here we don't want mo motion blur ultra there so let's go ahead put that down to medium see what happens medium we're in the 50s it's better but oh good so let's come over here. We're going to back to Ultra. And I want to come over here and I want to see what it does at 4K. Let's go. All right, so we are in the 50s. Vámonos. At 4K. Oh, now in the 40s. So totally not acceptable there. Let's go ahead and grab all this garbage. All right, so. Let's see, coming back over here. Now let's see if it's just a preset thing. Let's jump down to medium. Now, well, we're 
we're in the 60s now. So that's not bad at all. at 4k the 90s at 4k over here under medium now if we wanted to go back to ultra we'll step it down over here to 2k and then we'll go back to ultra In this game the graphics look beautiful as it is I forgot about this guy over here. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that other camera. It's been a while. Ah, it doesn't matter. But here you get a good idea of all the settings that might work for you. Cyberpunk 2077. This game is a lot of fun. And of course, the better your controls, the more fluid it is, the more fun you're going to have. And then, there we go. So, Cyberpunk 2077 at 4K plays fine, you just need to stick to medium. Cyberpunk 2077 at 2K works amazing, even at Ultra. You can sprinkle in a little ray tracing, maybe not too high, maybe a medium, and it's still going to play great, 60s and 70s. But typically, I would say myself, 2K at Ultra, you're perfectly fine. So, pretty awesome on the 7900 XT. Let's move on to the next game. In Red Dead Redemption, you can see Everything looks beautiful. It is a dark, stormy night. And let's come over here so we can see some of that detail. Look at that. That's amazing. And let's see. And of course, we can see his reflection. It's just hard to get it to look good. But anyway, you see how that works. The graphics are beautiful. Good to see you again. Hey, how you doing, buddy? You got uh, any Welcome. for me? Take care now. Horse here around here for us. There we go. Come on, buddy. It's all right. That's all right, we don't need them right now at least. But anyway, let me show you the settings. The settings over here. Again, we're at 4K, 120 hertz, full screen, V-Sync off. Quality preset is set to as high as possible. And I do have the everything set to high or as high as possible. I do have FSR disabled. We don't need it or we can put it up to quality and 
have it to the max up here if we wanted to sure and then we'll come out here it still looks great no matter what Coming over here to this light. I thought I saw a light over here. But because it's turning into daylight, that could be why. But you're seeing the quality of the game it, everything's beautiful obviously it's at its highest let me go ahead and drop it down to 2k so you can see what the difference might be and at 2k now we're 140 frames per second Still looks beautiful Hundred and fifty two frames per second So, you and I might know, but there's a lot of people that may not know when you drop the resolution in a game, and I've shown you here, but when you drop the resolution in a game, obviously the frame rate is going to increase, and that might help for your games that you're just stuck at a very low frame rate. And just realize, while we may know this, not everybody does know that. Okay, they don't want anybody in. But the game looks amazing, plays amazing. And let's go ahead and see if we can get this horsey. Hey buddy, uh, let's go ahead, uh... all right, I like that, but let's go for a ride, everything just looks amazing, mind you, a little foggy, but that's normal. Okay, let's go ahead now that we're on the horse. Let's go ahead and bump it back up to 4K and see if the horse makes our video cord sweat a little bit more. So, yeah, it took about what, 50, 60 frames per second off. Though we're still over a hundred. That looks amazing. And now everything's becoming much more clear, not only because of the resolution, that helps a tiny bit, but because we're not running that way. We're whoa. Yep, 
so I just wanted to come over here real quick. And the graphics are so beautiful in this game. And again, we're at max. If you don't want to use FSR, just come in here. And let's go ahead and bump it up to 16 as anisotropic filtering. Doesn't make much of a difference except it looks, look at the muscles on the horse. That is amazing. But it didn't thankfully do much to the frame rate. So we'll come back over here and let's go ahead and disable FSR. Now I do have the advanced graphics locked. So let's go ahead and just enable that. I want to see what it does again. Yeah, now raising it to 16x. Now we're under 100 frames per second, 83, 84. The graphics are still beautiful, amazingly beautiful. Let's go on to the next game. All right, we are back in Spider-Man Remastered. We can see we're over, well, we were over 100. We're over 90 frames per second, and she is running beautifully. Let's go ahead and see what our reflection looks like and how much we can see. You can see a little tiny bit there, a lot more right here. And man, that looks awesome. Great detail. Look at that. His suit. Look at that. It looks amazing. So coming over here real quick, let's see what we're working with. Under settings and displaying graphics, we are at very high and high on reflection and geometry. Let's bump that up to very high and see what we're working with. Resolution 2160p or 4K. Now that we've changed that, now we're still over 60 frames per second, though we have taken a slight hit, and well, we've hit 55 frames per second, so we definitely need a little bit more. Now what we were at was perfect before, just bumping it down from very high to high, but let's see what happens when we go down to 1440p or 2K. And now we can bump everything up to very high or keep it at very high. And we're not gonna take a hit on performance whatsoever. We're gonna be over 100 or over 90 frames per second as we flip around all over the city. In a second, we'll be fighting some crime. Whoa, look at that reflection I just saw. Look at that. All, units all the cars and all the people the and of course, Spider-Man as well. And let's go ahead and take care of this real quick. that we've taken care of crime that vehicle hang on oh wait 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 we need to Let's help close the record down Don't panic. more people I'm here whoops don't want to do that right. you can come out you're good now and let's help these people over here I think it was not that yeah over here no uh, sorry 
I get a little carried away sometimes. Alright, bud. You're gonna have to move a little bit quicker than that. Come on, come on. Alright, so two out of three, three out of three, perfect. So let's yeah, come over safe. here again. Now that we've seen a few different resolutions and settings, it runs great at 2K with everything set to very high. But again, I want to come back over here to 4K because we can. And let's go ahead, bump this down. I should clear out so the professionals can get in. And now, we're still running great, over 60 frames per second. I'm just admiring this beautiful game. I am a tremendous Spider-Man fan, so that helps a ton as well. So again, remember, we're running on the RX 7900 XT. And we can see just how great this game handles ray tracing on the 7900 XT at 4K and 2K. 2K, we can get very high. 4K, very high works, but high works better. While I am a PC gamer, and I do use keyboard and mouse for every game, this is the only game that I actually use a gamepad because it's just that much easier. Now, one thing I do want to mention about utilizing this card and all the recording and everything that we've been doing on gameplay is the fact that all of the recording is taking place on the card. I'm not using my capture card. I'm not using CPU. All of this is coming from the card. Then on top of everything else on recording, we're playing. So the games are taking a little bit of a hit, maybe 10 frames per second, but I just wanted to bring that to your attention as well. But that's it. I just wanted to show you how this runs. So let's move on to the next game. In Fortnite, we are at 4K on the Epic preset with ray tracing enabled. And you can see we're in the 70s. And we'll go up and down from there. I don't believe we'll get into anything lower than the 60s. But you can see just how great it's performing. Now, unfortunately, I can't lower the resolution right now to show you what it performs like lower because I just finished patching it and there seems to be a little bit buggy right now. I've already rebooted a few times just in case. Since the patch, it looks kind of weird. But she's still running great. No complaints whatsoever in the performance. And hopefully I can give you some epic gameplay, some quick gameplay. She just gave up. That was kind of funny. Somebody's coming, but 4K, we're on the Epic preset, and we have ray tracing on, and you can see just how beautiful she is performing. I didn't realize. 
realize how low in health I am. So now in Fortnite, we are at 2K. Same everything else as we were at 4K, just at 2K. And you can see we're in the hundreds. She's running beautifully. In a second, I just landed. So in a second, I will show you the settings. do it just yet as people are settling in take care of this trash All right. so he didn't have a potion and I did I oh, don't want to do that just yet and actually, let me just grab this real quick. I'm single-handedly winning this whole thing. Yes, you are. All right, let me show you real quick here. So, 2K, everything set to epic, auto preset, and ray tracing on as well. And you can see just how great she's running now, if I wanted to get more out of it, so, you know, we can come over here and I'm only going to do a little bit. I don't want to ruin it ever since this update. It seems a little quirky. So now we're at 140 frames per second. Ray tracing is nice, but it's not needed. Though it could probably get you out of a few sticky situations. If you're not listening, letting you know that somebody's nearby. Nice. That was awesome. <laughs> Didn't expect to kill them, but I will take the kill. Oh, there's the other guy. I didn't realize it was capture the flag. It's been a while. Oh, wow. 
So in this video, we've gone over the performance of the AMD Radeon 7900 XT. The performance is awesome, especially for the price and especially comparing the competition. Now we've gone over a bunch of games. We've gone in 2K, we've gone in 4K, and we've gone in many different configurations, ray tracing included. And this card can conquer just about everything. And as you've been seeing, AMD has been improving their performance on their drivers all the time. So I expect this to get much more powerful in the coming weeks months even a year or so so amd is doing some good stuff here so i'd love to hear your thoughts down below what you thought about the performance of the card and amd's overall path lately they've been doing some amazing things on their cpu side and their gpu side as you've seen with this system here i have a lot more coming soon with this card so stay tuned here iggy with this bites for you up see you guys